So today we're going to talk about the Benchmade Osborne. This is a, for me, it's an everyday carry knife. Um, it's got a lot of features that I enjoy. It is easy to open. It is lightweight. Uh, it is robust. And it's built like a brick shit house. So that being said, let's, let's get into it a little bit. What I said is easy to open. I can open it with a thumb, stu thumb stud if I want to. Uh, if I want to, I can flick it open. It's pretty easy to do so when you're not sitting in front of the camera like this. Um, the access lock actually allows you to just allow it to fall open. Um, this, this, if you can see it right there, is the access lock. When you pull back on it, it allows the blade to free up. It's on both sides, so it's ambidextrous. Um, out of the box, it ships razor sharp. I can shave with this. Uh, I haven't had to sharpen it, but I also haven't had to use it very much. Um, but I imagine that with the, uh, can you see that? S30V steel, it should hold a pretty good edge. The only thing I don't like is it ships with a painted, um, a painted belt clip or a pocket clip and in my having abused that a couple of times walking into doorways or whatever I've been doing it's gotten chipped up a little bit but it fits well in the hand um, the it's got sort of an anodized aluminum finish it's an aluminum handle uh, and it, it, it's not slick but it's not rough and it if it gives you some good traction as does the jimping on the back here so when it's in the hand it feels feels solid it's right there and when this knock when the, when this knife locks up it locks up i mean it, you can tell it just click boom, it feels like uh it feels sturdy it is fairly lightweight i don't have a scale or anything but compared to other knives like say uh, uh boker quaken this knife weighs about half as much as this thing um but overall, it's it's a it's a nice knife for what you pay for it. Um, it is expensive. It's a two hundred dollar knife. It's um, it was a little outside of my price range for a long time, and then my my dad actually he was visiting and he gave me a hundred dollars. He said, "Here's some walking around money." <laughs> I decided instead to put it towards this. So this two hundred dollar knife became a one hundred dollar knife for me. Um, there's not a whole lot to complain about. Um, other knives that I own, I've got things to complain about, but this one is just an overall pretty good knife. Um, the way the axis lock works, it, it does get, it gives it a little spring right there in this, right? So it does occasionally, depending if you're, depending on how you're opening it, um, it can jump out from underneath you a little bit and when I say that what I don't like I don't like knives that have a spring assisted opening and a thumb stud if it's a twitcher you know, if, it, if it's a flipper make it a flipper and don't put a thumb stud on it because when you try and open a knife with a flipper that has a spring assisted like a, a, a leak from Kershaw it'll jump out from underneath you and then you end up pushing on the knife on the actual blade with your thumb and I can't tell you how many times and playing with uh, knives like that that I've cut myself or, or come pretty darn close to it. Um, so it has a uh, titanium liner or and that's not a liner I guess the stand the standoff is is uh, titanium and it's got this anodized uh, purple finish to it. The um, but you know would I spend two hundred dollars on it now that I've owned it, now that I've had it, and I've used it? Yeah, I, I think it's worth it. I, th I think it is. It's it's something you have to decide that you really, really want. Um, it's an investment. It's it's a, a high quality knife that you're going to use every day, um, and it's going to stand up to the use that you put it through. So that being said, yeah, I think it's I think it's worth the money you pay for it, but you've got to be in the mindset that you want to spend that money. So it, it's really up to the person and, and because there's, there's other knives that you can get 
that will do the same thing. Um, there's other EDC knives out there that that uh, there's other folding knives out there that are just as good, if not better, depending on what you're looking for. And for this, I like it. But that's the other part of that is I don't always carry this. If I was going out somewhere where I thought I'd be prone to lose it, I'd leave this at home and and head out with my my Spyderco Delica. Seventy bucks, great knife. But yeah, there's some other things about that. I'll get get into. The, there's some other things about the Delica that you got to take into account, and I'll get in. I'll get into those on a different video. But overall, Benchmade Osborne, 940, 940 Osborne, one of the best knives I've ever owned. With that, I'll leave you at B.